Hey guys, it's Connor with Maintenance Made Simple. Today we're going to be doing our vapor barrier in our basement. We just have to do the insulation walls, this uh, back wall behind me to the left, and then this one right behind me directly. We're using this 6 mil plastic. It's a really thick plastic. Uh, you can get it at your big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. And you're just going to roll it out and nail it to the walls just like you do with the uh, insulation tabs so there's not much to that and then I got some more stuff to show you guys after that so stay tuned so I'm just gonna cut it a little long and then I'll trim it down when I get it all stapled up there so if you're doing this don't worry about making a perfect cut like right off the bat. The side that you didn't cut is going to be pretty straight because factory edge. So I would recommend putting that on the bottom side of your bottom plate so it's nice and even when it goes on the walls and you're not having it like cockeyed one way or the other. So I'm going to put the factory bottom side on the bottom edge and start going up the wall and then I'll cut the top flush so you guys will see. Again, uh, like in the installation video, I'm using the quarter cable uh, air stapler. Plastic up, you can give yourself just a little bit of slack and then just staple a couple times up in the up here in the joist or wherever you're not gonna have to worry about a bunch of staples going to like take them back out. So I'm just gonna pull it up here and then shoot a few staples. That way, it'll hold it up there while you work with the bottom section. So there's the first wall done. You can see there's really no wrinkles in it and that's how you want it. You want it to be pulled as tight as you can when you nail it down to the studs. And I'll show you real quick. So since there was a gap like up underneath this uh, joist right here, I decided to go um, to the 
underneath of the joist right there. If you want to get like a really good tight vapor barrier, they make a Tyvek house wrap tape. It's almost just like this kind of stuff, but anyways, you could run tape from that joist all the way across. And with this spot right here, uh, you would just overlap half up here and half on the plastic all the way around the window. And then I overlap just a tiny bit right here in the closet right there. And those of you that aren't familiar with vapor, bar vapor barrier, you don't have to do your interior walls, it's only exterior walls. It's supposed to trap the moisture in between the walls and stuff like that. I know in Idaho you have to have it on the ex like the outside of the face of the wall. And I know in other states, like where it's warmer, they do it on the like concrete side, but so do your research on that. Make sure you're doing it right. But we're gonna get started on this side. And you're basically just gonna be the exact same thing. I did leave just a little bit of plastic right there to overhang. So it will tuck back in and then I'll staple it to there, but we're gonna get started. Real quick too while I'm thinking about it. Me and my wife went and picked up 34 sheets of drywall the other day so that's basically our next step after the vapor barrier gets put up uh, we our hallway right here to come downstairs and there's all this framing right here which I'm six foot three and I can almost hit my head on that when there's an actual sheet up there so what we're gonna do is uh -oh. Tear all this framing out and I'm gonna move it uh, up and then we're gonna hang sheets all the way so it's gonna be nice and open. This is an old junction box and I'll throw a picture up of what it looked like before. Uh, I did it like way before we started making videos so I don't really have any video for that. But our plans are yeah to move this all up and then we're gonna tear this drywall out because Whoever lived here before us, I don't know if that'll focus. But I, that texture job, I mean, holy crap. Literally just slap some mud on the wall and just put blade marks in it. So we're gonna tear that all out and then everything will be fresh and new. And then we'll make it our own, our own texture. So, there's tons of videos coming. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to those as much as we are making them and then like I said uh, we got these three windows to do eventually but it's been snowing a lot lately out here anyways we'll get going with the other wall real quick and maybe move on to taking some of the framing down right there this is our laundry room too we redid all the plumbing in here so it's all nice and new with pecs lines all the way to the water heater there's the water heater I did a video on if you didn't see that go check it out so with these rolls of plastic uh, it has quite a bit of width to it so you can use your same side if you want so you don't waste your plastic uh, on each side there's a factory edge so you just need the other side of the cut like the other side of the sheet you cut and then flip it upside down and use it on the bottom plate again just like before and then we'll cut our little extra piece that's not going to be long enough
is all done, I was able to use uh, all that plastic off the first cut for this wall that we started with. And it's all pretty tight. There's not really, I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of wrinkles, but there's not. Um, everything's flush to the bottom of the top plate and bottom plate. The only thing I have left really to do is uh, seal the rest of the window frames with that Tyvek tape I was telling you about earlier. I don't have it right now, but when I get it, I can show you what it looks like, or I'll just put it in the link uh, below. This kind of stuff is not hard. Anyone can do this kind of stuff, like insulation and the vapor barrier. It's just kind of time consuming more than anything. So don't get like discouraged if you guys are wanting to do something like this. That's actually one of the best ways to learn, I feel like. I haven't really been doing this that long. I was in construction for two years with a guy here in town and we bought this house. But I enjoy doing this type of work and I'm sure that there's other people out there that do it too. But honestly, I feel like if you just want to do something and tackle it, you're going to get the most experience by doing it that way than being scared to do something, especially if it's your own house. So I encourage you guys, if you're wanting to do something like this, just go for it. You'll learn a lot along the way. Plus, me and my wife get to spend lots of time doing this together. And seeing something go from what it was before to what it's going to be is just really cool. Just for reference, like right where this paint ends, that's where the wall used to be for this bedroom. And... Uh, we'll have pictures to put up there for you of what it looked like before. It just had tons of wood paneling and then a smaller closet in that same vicinity. And uh, right there was the very end of the hallway and there's a door. So, I mean, it, we gained probably five feet in this bedroom. Also, we had uh, HVAC guys come in and remove some of the ducting. And that's where one of the vents was in here. I can do a, a video on how to patch some drywall for you guys. Uh, drop it down in the comments below if you'd like to see that. It's super easy on how to do it. And they just moved it right there. But just for reference too, this room we did not do. It was like this when we bought the house. And you can see all of the drywall joints in here. And the texture job is, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. They just kind of slap mud on the wall everywhere, but yeah, this vent actually used to um, come right off these elbows right here, all the way in the middle of the room, and we just didn't like how the layout was, <clears throat> having it right in the middle of the room, because I could almost hit my head on it, so I decided to just tuck it back here in this edge of the room and get it out of the way and have this whole entire space completely open and those of you that have older homes you know these ceilings are not very tall they're only seven and a half feet or less than that and all the newer houses man, they're going up to like 10 feet in the houses so you're limited with space which sucks but we're working with what we got and it's gonna look way bigger after we get the drywall up too. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. We're gonna keep rolling with the basement and get this thing done. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's done and how it turns out. It's gonna have all new carpet, trim, paint, drywall. I mean this thing is completely brand new compared to what it was. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, we'll keep we'll keep them coming for you. Also, post maybe some other ideas of what you guys might want to see, because I'm also doing a ton of other projects for family members, and sometimes my job as it is, like some side jobs, and I could try and work those in too if you guys have some videos you'd like to see so let me know down in the comments below um, guess we'll see you guys in the next one